Hi, and welcome to day two of Mobile World Congress here in Barcelona. We started the day four years from now, which showcased some startup mobile businesses and apps, and also some cool face tracking technology from messaging app Uvu. Returning to the main conference halls, we checked out the neat new security features of Cheetah Mobile's Android app. Now, if you install it, if someone tries to unlock your phone, your phone will take a photo of the person doing it and send it to you via email, which is either cool or creepy. We also found an app called Flirty, which is similar to Tinder, although with its own unique features. And lastly, we found Akazoo, a subscription music service which is slowly spreading around the world and hopefully will come to Britain and the States later in the year. Finally, we looked at the new Ubuntu devices, which feature scopes that the company hopes will be a new way of accessing content and differentiate it from different mobile operating systems. With the hall still echoing with yesterday's speeches from Vice President of Google, Sundar Pichai, and Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg, which appealed for Internet for All, the second day of the Mobile World Congress began. Our first visit today was to the Four Years From Now exhibit, a space dedicated to young projects to attract potential investors. We got to see multiple live presentations, hands-on and quick pitches as developers showed off their wares. It was in these little booths that we discovered some of today's more exciting apps. WeSmart Park is a service that connects car park owners with drivers who are looking for competitive prices. If you're not a driver or a car park owner, then we also have Wash Rocks, a mobile app that connects with laundry services, allowing you to get your clothes cleaned in under 48 hours. Sneak was next, a social network designed for water lovers so that they can share pictures and stories from their submarine life. We also saw Musi, an app that promises to replace audio guides in museums. A stunning display from OVO showed off their fantastic new facial recognition technology. In their game, Flinch. This app is the modern day equivalent of a staring contest, where the goal is not to laugh. There were also some interesting gadgets on the show. There was Cody, a small wooden robot that helps children learn basic principles of coding through a mobile app. And some augmented reality glasses designed to be used underwater though they do make you look a little bit like an alien. By mid-morning, we had left the Four Years From Now exhibit and returned to the main floor of the Mobile World Congress. Meeting with the Clean Master developers, Cheetah Mobile, we were shown how their new program can spot duplicate images, deleting one to save on space, and Security App Lock, which prevents access to your social networks and takes a picture of anybody who tries to get in. We also had some time to meet with Akazu, a music streaming service that we're sure to hear more from in the future. Our friends at Flirty showed us their rival to Tinder, and there are already people out there getting their first pass. To finish off our very full day, we visited the Canonical booth to see how their latest version of Ubuntu will work on the Aquarius E4.5. We also got to see Scopes, a system that hopes to revolutionize the way people consume content when out and about. And that is another lid on a very full day from the Mobile World Congress. Thanks for watching and we look forward to seeing you tomorrow for day three of Mobile World Congress.